Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, what are we going to learn today about data cleaning? This is the second video in the series where we will teach you how we can convert clumsy data into meaningful and workable data. Today, we are going to learn about what is the difference between doing some manual functions, formulas and how we can convert them into automation where the cleaning is done automatic so what are we waiting for let's go hello everyone i welcome you all once again and what we are going to learn today is something really special data cleaning tips and tricks what is the difference between manual mode a formula and pure automation so we have a data which has many problems on first sight it may seem a clean data but when we see deeply we will see that the date column is all messed up salary is missing there are some null values in gender column and some missing data in department and so on so we will do the same steps in three different ways and see what is the difference between all of them so suppose first one is that i simply want the first name and last name separated from the name so i'll type here first name and last name sheila and simply we can press ctrl e this is the microsoft 365 version and it's really amazing this is not a promotional video of this but i simply use microsoft 365 and the features are really amazing so simply we type sheila and you can see that all the names came up Similarly, if I type Vadwani, the second name, and press Ctrl E, all the second names will come up. Now, this is not a function. This is simply a feature in Microsoft 365 Excel. But what happens is, this is not linked to the data. This is absolutely manual. Now, if I change the name to Deepak, say, say Ajit Sarya, you can see the name does not changes which means it is not linked to the data similarly we can try out text to columns suppose this is the word collection i want to filter out the location and the country name separately so what we can do is go to data and text to column in the delimited part we can simply type a comma and next finish okay so you can see that the country got separated but once again i would like to say that this is not linked to the data and if you change the input the output does not changes coming to the next part is we will delete all this and suppose this is the full-time employment status if it is one means our employee is a full-time employee and if it is below one which means they are part-time employees so what I can do is simply type equal to if then I'll start the bracket and this is equal to one which means they are a full time employee. If not, they are simply part time. And when I just drag down, I can see I am getting some part time values. Now this is a proper formula. So now if I change this, you can see full time changes to part time. So this type of formulas are linked to the input, which means when you change the input, the output are going to change. There are many other formulas which will come in this example. The third part is very, very amazing where we will learn to do everything in automation. Okay, so I'm deleting this and for automation, we simply need to go to power query so we'll go to the data tab and from table range since our data is inside this workbook only so power query will be detecting this range very well so i've simply gone to there and power query is detected the table okay and power query editor is on and we will see our data for those who are using power query for the first time the data is not editable and this is a mirror image of the data and second thing is power query is highly case sensitive which means small a and big a are a huge difference for power query name and name dot 
everything matters dot by dot to power query and if anything changes our automation is not going to work so simply first thing we will do is rename the table maybe output or final anything we can rename and some automated steps are applied by power query that means it has changed the type which we do not like and we will take control in our hands and remove this okay so now what we want to do is simply apply two to three steps and see what can be done on automation okay so the first thing is very simple suppose all the names are there and the first two part are the cost center of the employee and the second part is the id and we simply want to split them okay so what we can do is simply click here go to home tab and split column since we already know that position is fixed we can do by number of characters and we know that number of characters will be two once far as left as possible and okay so we will see that the employee id one is the cost center of the employee and employee id two is the employee id of the employee similarly there are no issues in name now department we can see that there are some null values and there is some null value as well this is a blank value which is denoted by small null and big null means that was specifically written null this means that they have left our office so we can remove their data so what we will do is filter out the data simply click here and null and null and ok similarly there are null in gender column also so what we will do is replace this null with others so what we will do is replace values and n u l l others okay similarly salary we have no idea but the important thing is date we can see that date is highly clumsy so in power query it is very very amazing to sort out all this type of data in excel it would have taken a long time but in power query you simply have to change the type and we can simply put on date and you can see everything got sorted out very beautifully and one more thing let us do the fte part in which we were determining the position of the employee whether they are full-time or part-time so we will simply click on fte and we will add a column conditional column and the new column name will be status status column name is fte you can see operator will be equal to you can see less than everything is there so value will be one and if the fte value is equal to one then it is a full-time employee in all other cases else it will be a part-time employee and okay so we can see it's here and now we will simply load the data home close and load so this dirty data remains as it is and a new output table is our output one important thing again i would like to say that whatever power query does is a mirror image of the data and not the data so here there are no formulas rather we have seen that we applied some conditional column but you can see that if i change the original data now suppose it is sheila vadwani you can see in the output sheila vadwani and if i change in the original data in the dirty data suppose i type 0.7 now as per our request the employee status has changed to part-time employee from full-time and let us see what is happening here it is not changing because we have to refresh so we will simply press right click refresh and you can see 0.7 has changed and part-time employees has also changed so this has been done on perfectly automation and one another thing is that suppose there are addition of data we have 20 rows of data and now we will see that what happens when i am pasting some extra data in this i already have some extra data and i will simply paste control v and i will remove the extra column and now when i simply press refresh you will see that the extra data also has got 
all the steps that we did and it is done on purely automation basis so you can see how powerful automation is through power query so i hope you got the difference between manual functions formulas which are linked to the input and purely automation basis few things again i would like to remind that this data should not change and whatever change you do in the original data automatically our output will change whereas you will not find any formulas here because whatever was done was done at the power query level so that's all for this video friends if you got some value out of it do like this video and share with your friends also let me know in the comments which one was your favorite part today and what new did you learn for more such videos revolving around excel ai and office productivity do subscribe to our channel for regular updates that's all friends see you in the next video